What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of the Tech once again. And due to the profitability and revenue on Ethereum being quite low, I have been mining Neta through Ergo Smart Pools on GetBlock.io. I have an entire guide for you guys to check out if you would like to on that particular setup and how you get up and running with mining Neta. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go through the process with you guys of actually cashing it out. Now, to be completely frank, I haven't quite done this with Neta itself. I have done it with Ergo before. And we're gonna be utilizing a combination of basically three different services. Hence why some of these smaller altcoins can be quite difficult to go ahead and get liquidated into cash. And basically this is an example of how complicated it can be. We did this also with Flux, and that was a little bit more simple thanks to the Zellcore wallet. For Ergo, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. We will be using Ergo Dex along with KuCoin and Crypto.com. So there's a combination of three different tools we're gonna to be utilizing. Links to all of these exchanges are going to be down below in the description. And while typically I would go ahead and run the ad for Crypto.com for you guys today, since we're utilizing the application, just make sure if you're gonna utilize Crypto.com, you utilize the affiliate link down in the description below and use the referral code SOAT or SOAT for the uh, sounding out version of it when signing up for a $25 sign up bonus when you go ahead and lock it up for a card. That's pretty much the only spiel I'm gonna give you. So hopping right into it though, what we got to do is head on over to app.ergodex.io. At this point, you can see that we have some Neta in our wallet and we need to get it swapped out to a asset that is available on an exchange. Currently, there are no real assets on any exchanges for Ergo tokens yet. So all of the tokens have to be swapped on the decentralized exchange of Ergo Dex. And then they need to be swapped for essentially Ergo only because the only thing we're gonna be able to send to an exchange is going to be Ergo itself. So now that we have some Neta in our wallet, we're gonna go ahead and select it and hit the max button because I'm gonna wanna swap all of it and I'm gonna swap it to Ergo. So we're gonna select Ergo at this point and then we're just gonna go ahead and click the swap button. We'll confirm the swap and when this happens, your Nautilus wallet will spin up with a request to go ahead and type in your spending password. I'll go ahead and get a snipping tool out so I can show you guys exactly what this looks like. But you'll essentially just have to type in the password and then click confirm. At that point, you will be presented with the screen that says transaction submitted. Now the block times are a little bit slower on Ergo, around two minutes. So you're gonna have to give it anywhere between, well, no time and two, up to two minutes to go ahead and complete the transaction. Once that is done, you will have that in your Ergo balance up in the top right. And then you should be able to go ahead and send it out. Now for sending out, the actual ergo, we're gonna go ahead and need to grab our exchange address. Today we're gonna to be utilizing KuCoin. Now down in the description below, I will also have a referral link for KuCoin. To my knowledge, I don't really get anything out of this. We're gonna be covering some of the weird stuff they do with their affiliate program and their referral program and so on in a later video because I actually find it extremely curious. They basically have these chests that you can open up. In fact, maybe I can show you guys exactly what it looks like on the referral program. You can see that we've had 209 people sign up with our referral code on KuCoin, but we don't actually have any kind of benefit from utilizing it right now. So it hasn't paid anything out. What it does do is end up giving you these odd tokens that you can utilize. And then at that point, you can trade them in for chests that unlock something else. And anyways, that's kind of where it's at as far as that goes. But that aside, what we need to do is get our deposits in. So we're gonna go highlight over this little wallet option and we're gonna go ahead and click on it, the deposit button over here. And then for our deposit, we're gonna be looking for Ergo. So for the coin, we're gonna click the search button and just search for Erg. And once we've searched for Erg, we're gonna go ahead and select the Ergo option. This is gonna give us our deposit address. 
From here, we're going to go to our Nautilus wallet in the top right, and we're going to select the uh, send button, which I'm going to go ahead and screenshot for you guys as well. And then we're going to type in the receiver address as the address that we copied out of the exchange. So you just copy it and then in your Nautilus wallet, after you click the send button, you're just going to paste that into the receiver address. After that, you're just going to enter the amount as required, however much you would like to send. I'm going to send 15 of it. And then you'll type in your spending password and click the confirm button. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and wait for our crypto to get added into, of course, our wallet address. We'll do some refreshes and so on. Get our history maybe and refresh it. And then once we have it in here, we're going to go through trading it and see how that goes as well. Now, one of the questions I had, and we're going to go ahead and do the deposit, is which networks USDT are supported here? Because these networks need to basically support the same networks that we would have if we're going to basically swap for USDT, which is the plan here, and then send to Crypto.com. ERC20 is supported by Crypto.com, as well as Solana and Binance Smart Chain. Binance Smart Chain is not available here. Um, and then po Polygon is supported, but on Crypto.com, but not on here as well. So we'll probably end up utilizing something like Ethereum or, or Solana at this point. Probably just Ethereum for ease of use. And the fees are low right now because there's not a ton of activity on the network. So for Ergo in particular, it does look like the processing is going to be 10 confirmations. So I just want to show you guys here in your history tab, which you can click up here on KuCoin, you're essentially going to have an option here that shows you what's going on, the blockchain record of it, and how many transactions or block confirmations it's going to require. So right now we have one of 10. Once the 10 of 10 are complete, we're going to go ahead and move into the trading portion of this and get it sold on the spot markets. Alrighty, so as you can see, we have 15 ERG and the deposit is completed. So I'm going to go ahead and move into the spot trading option and go find ourselves some ERGO. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this swapped out. So I don't use a lot of KuCoin. So we're going to have to go ahead and figure out our pairings. We're going to look for ERG. And I think we're going to do USDT. We could do Bitcoin too, but I think we're just going to do USDT as it sits for now. It's showing around $1.97 per ergo. So we do have a trading password that I do have to input if I want to trade for the spot. And you can set that up in your account as well. And then we're going to want to sell our ergo. So we can come down here and it does say like zero is available. So it looks like what I need to do is add it into our trading account. So we're going to go back over here and you can see this is the main account. So I'm going to go ahead and click the transfer button and I'm just going to want to go from our, well here, we'll do it here, right? From our main account to our trading account, we're going to go ahead and look for Ergo. We're going to say 15. So we're going to confirm 15 Ergo and send that over to our trading account then we're going to go back to our markets and we're going to refresh uh, don't even have to refresh you can see that it's added in and if i click a hundred percent and then we just go ahead and find the price for the spot sale um let's go ahead and see so here's the order book a dollar 97 uh, there's 15 of it, so we're going to click that and say sell erg. And then we have placed the order successfully, so we're just going to wait for that to go through and then confirm that we get it on the USDT side as well. And then we'll go from there. So we'll, then we'll have to go back to our trading account probably once it's traded. And you can see it shows here in orders. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for that to come out and then we will go from there. Let's see. So for the order book, it put us in, look at our orders again, right here. If we cancel, puts our 15 erg back in. If we want to sell right away, what are we looking for, right? We're probably going to be here at that $1.96 spot. 
So if we wanted to sell right away, we could hit, oops, yeah, that dollar ninety-seven, sell, oops, hit the one hundred percent. This is me on these. There it goes. Sorry, you always click the bottoms here for that, and then you can see that we have the twenty-nine point four nine. So almost $30, $29.50. So now we're going to go back over here and we're just going to see that we have essentially our USDT. I'm going to transfer this back to our main account and then we're going to go into our wallets. We're going to go into our main account and then we're going to hit the withdraw button. And at this point we can withdraw to our crypto.com account. So one of the things that makes this a little bit easier when we're going ahead and navigating is that we're going to be utilizing our cell phone because there is an app for KuCoin. So what I'm gonna do is get the app for KuCoin up here and then we're gonna go do the rest on the mobile phone because now we know that we have the USDT here. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna want to open our crypto.com app get logged in and head to our track and look for USDT. Now that we're in USDT, we're gonna open our wallet here. We're gonna say transfer. And we're gonna click the deposit button. We're gonna copy our ERC20 out. Make sure you go off of the Kronos because Kronos is not supported by KuCoin. Uh, Solana is supported, so possibly you could get cheaper fees if you did Solana. We're gonna go ahead and copy that address and then we're going to move to KuCoin and get that up and running. So now that we're in KuCoin, we're gonna go ahead and get this figured out. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna ask the app not to track. We're gonna go ahead and hop in and get our assets added or check our assets. We are going to pop into our USDT asset and then we are going to click the withdraw button at the bottom there. And we're going to paste our wallet address in. We're gonna select the network to make sure it's on the ERC20 network like we checked earlier. We're gonna click the max button it doesn't seem to be working right now, so we're just gonna type in 29. There we go. And we're gonna say that, done. And it says the fee would be 25 USDT. So the minimum level would be 50. And then that's where we run into issues with, with withdrawing from KuCoin. So there you go. We're not able to do that right now. The draw amount can't be less than the minimum of 50. Try this again. Maybe we select a different network. Solana is not available. Binance Smart Chain is available for $5. The lowest fee is going to be KCC, which we don't want to use, or Tron, TRX. So let's go back to crypto.com. Let's go into track and USDT. It's clear that our ERC-20 was a bad idea, so let's go ahead and take a look at what our other options here. We'll say transfer, withdraw, or oop, no, transfer and deposit. We have Binance Smart Chain isn't available, Solana is not available, Polygon's available. I think Binance Smart Chain was, so we could copy that out. The address looks to be the same no matter what over here, so that's good to know. So we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna look. Tron wasn't an option. Uh, Binance Smart Chain is gonna be $5. What about Algorand? That wasn't it. Arbitrum's not in there. Solana, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, and ERC20. So Binance Smart Chain's our cheapest fee. We're gonna hit that max button again. It's gonna charge us five USDT to send it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that withdraw button now and confirm and type in our password, get our verification code and confirm. Now at this point, we just wait for the confirmation in that it's been sent and then the confirmation on crypto.com. You can see here that it shows the main account is empty now at this point, and it's just a waiting game. Alrighty, so as you can see here, we have a pending USDT deposit of $24.49. So let's go ahead and talk about what we've learned, etc. So obviously liquidating Ergo can be quite a bit more difficult than liquidating something like Flux and definitely more difficult than liquidating something like Ethereum. Now, when we go through the entire process, obviously with Ethereum and mining pool support for alternate networks, we can reduce the fees of the main Ethereum chain, which is definitely helpful. Whether we use Polygon or Binance Smart Chain with Crazy Pool, 
or even direct Bitcoin payouts from something like two miners. All of these things basically make Ethereum a lot easier to liquidate, which means that you pay a lot less fees. Now, in second place right now for liquidation, I put Flux. While Flux is going to basically be a little bit more complicated than Ethereum, be, thanks to the Zellcore wallet, you can transfer into the Binance Smart Chain wrapped version of Flux and get that sent to your crypto.com app and liquidate from there. As far as Ergo, we end up having quite a few more steps, especially if we start playing with Neta, because now we have to go into the Ergo decks and swap the Neta. Now, as you saw, the fees weren't bad for swapping Neta. We got the full value out of it. So from there, the fees were pretty low as well to send to KuCoin, and that wasn't too much of a problem. We sent 15 of it for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of an Ergo, right? There wasn't very much fees for sending into there. Once we got into there, the actual spot trading wasn't bad either. We were pretty, it was pretty easy to get almost our full value out of the 15 erg into about $30 worth of USDT. Where the fees ended up hitting us really bad was obviously the failed attempt to extract on the ERC20 chain because the actual app from KuCoin does require essentially a $20 fee or a $25 fee for basically withdrawing on the ERC20 blockchain. Now there is thankfully the option of utilizing the Binance Smart Chain which is what we utilize which has a $5 flat fee. So we ended up taking a $5 loss. What do we learn from this type of thing though? We learn essentially how much extra we need to build up before we extract. The amount of earnings we have is directly impacted on a percentage level when we start doing these trades. So obviously what you want to end up doing with the USDT fees is making sure that you have enough to cover those to where they're a minuscule fraction of the amount you're sending. For example, if we got up to 500 USDT before we cashed out, then we would only be paying essentially a 1% fee. There are additional network fees that apply to this too that you need to pay attention to. And this is kind of what I've learned. Now, there is also the option of swapping for Bitcoin and those fees could be less as well. And this is all just basically how you end up having to play the game when we move out of the easy, easy liquidation process of Ethereum. Now, Ethereum Classic is a little bit easier as well because there are direct deposit options in Coinbase as well as Crypto.com. So there is that, but they have very, very long confirmation times that take days, not even just hours to go ahead and process. So there you go. Hope you guys had fun with basically trying to cash out some Ergo today. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell so you're notified when we make a new video. And I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.